Hello and welcome. I am Pratik, data engineer at Acadgil. This is the video in series of windowing function in Spark. We would understand the internals of first value and last value function in this lecture. Let's get started. These are inbuilt function which operates on set of rows and return a single value for each row from the underlying query. This can be very useful to simplify complex query and break them into logical components. To give you a brief idea on this windowing function in Spark, we will be using stock market data. You can download the stock sample data from the link present in the description below. Let's now understand the input and expected output of first value function. First column in this data set is the date. Second column is the ticker, which is nothing but the stock name. Third column is the open value of stock. Fourth column is highest value of the stock. The fifth column is the lowest value of stock on particular day. Sixth column is the closing value of stock. And the last column is the volume of the stock on that particular day. In the sample output on the right hand side of the screen, we'll perform the query to retrieve ticker, date, high, and derived column is the first high, which is the value of high when ticker appears first time in the dataset. It's time for some hands on. I am using a CADGIL VM to show the execution in this session. Here I have started multiple instances in the terminal. Here you can see I have already loaded the data into Spark with table stocks. If you want to understand how to load data inside Spark, refer the previous video. Here is the code. In this command, I am creating immutable variable first value. And the Spark SQL helps in performing query on the structured data inside Spark. This is my SQL command over here. And dot show helps me bring output on the console. I have created ticker, date, high from the existing table stock and created a new column first high which holds the value of high when ticker appears first time in the data set. First value function has parameter, column name and over clause. We need to use over function to apply partition by and order by clause on ticker and date. Partition by operates on a set of rows with identical values in ticker by holding it together and order by make a set of partition data in ascending order. So this is the output we get. To summarize we can say the first value function can be used to retrieve the first entry in an ordered group of values. Similarly, let's understand last value function. Let's look at the input and expected output of last value function. We have already discussed the input data set in previous section. In the sample output on the right hand side of the screen, we have performed the query to retrieve ticker, date, high from the existing table stock and derived the column last high, which is the last value in the row set. So here is the code. And this is my SQL command over here. I have selected ticker date and high column from the existing table and created a new column last high which holds the last value in the row set which is from column high. Last value has parameter column name. We can see for each record value changes and is set to the last value that was pulled while executing query. Again here also we need to use over function to apply partition by and order by clause to get sorted data. Now, what if we want the last value to remain the same for all the rows in the result set? So here is the code. In order to control the window of the results returned by the last value function, we can use the row between unbound preceding and unbound following clause. To summarize, we can say the last value function allows to return the last result from an ordered set. Using the default windowing clause, the result can be little unexpected. We will be looking at more windowing functions in upcoming videos. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe our channel for more videos. A cat killed. Average is dead.